Mkosa Zana Dlamini Zuma, the chairperson of the African Union, recently spoke in Washington and New York on the future and progress of the African Union and Africa's opportunities and challenges. Viewers Maria Madiavo reports. At a recent dinner, Mkosa Zana Dlamini Zuma was recognized as a visionary by the GB Group Global, an organization that focuses on innovative and sustainable solutions in the energy, environment, and health sectors. Mrs. Zuma says with the African Union celebrating 50 years, she's been able to step back, reflect on what the organization has achieved, and start planning the next 50 years. Amongst uh, the most important priorities that I discussed was the need to invest in our people because we have a very young, energetic, creative population which is growing and it's going to double by 2050 and triple by the turn of the century. Young people whom she says at times can be the most precious possession Africa has, but they can also be a big liability. We want to call a skills revolution that most African boys and girls should go into research, science and technology, innovation, and uh, be able to say no when people want to recruit them to become rebels. For example, the ongoing crisis in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo is presenting great challenges for the AU and the international community. However, Mrs. Zuma says there is a way out of this conflict. What we need to look at is, one, how do we strengthen the DRC government and its uh, security forces to be able to exercise its authority across the, the country. In another case of unrest in the Central African Republic, she says there should be more effort made in making people feel included in their country's day-to-day -day operation. When people feel marginalized, they feel they are not uh, included in the life, of political, economic life of the country, then they are likely to rebel. She also commented on the upcoming vote to determine whether citizens in the enclave of Abyei remain a part of Sudan or join South Sudan. Important as we go to that referendum for both sides to be assured that whatever the outcome of the referendum, it won't disadvantage the people uh, who have been living through uh, that region, Abyei, whether they come from the north or from the south. Mrs. Zuma says she has decided that Africa's people should drive the AU's so-called 2063 agenda. We've decided that um, the African Union, according to its statutes, it's supposed to be driven by its people. Of course, in addition to the governments, but that has not really been strong. So we decided this agenda must be developed by all of us. Mrs. Dlamini Zuma says that the organization is doing its best in spite of criticism that it is not doing enough. She also believes that an all-inclusive vision is indeed the best way to galvanize the continent. In Washington, Mariama Diallo, VOA News.